Okay, so our next question comes from Nadia M2001. I'm not sure if that's Instagram or Twitter, but you can find her somewhere. What uh, was the hardest thing about having a roommate? Any general advice for people who plan to live on campus? Also, we can talk about off campus here too. Yeah. What's the difference between living on and off campus and also having roommates? Yeah. Uh, sure. Um, so I think the hardest thing about having a roommate, um, especially if you're sharing a room, is um, just sharing a room with somebody and being with them like almost 24-7 except for when you're at class or doing whatever. Um, it's really hard to acclimate to that unless you, you know, shared a room with like your siblings or whatever. Um, so it's definitely a huge adjustment just because you have to learn you know your living patterns and um, what annoys the other person um, but yeah it's difficult especially if you have different schedules so for example um, I had a roommate who uh, stayed up really late um, and you know was totally a night owl and I am a bear and sleep a lot so you know she would be up like 11 12 studying and had like a little light on and so that was kind of difficult Mm -hmm. So just making sure to have open communication and, you know, let your roommate know, like, hey, I go to bed, like, when the sun is still up. So if we could arrange <laughs> you to um, go somewhere else, maybe, yeah. to study. Um, but, no, you, it, it, it sh you just have to be patient because you're going to have to, you're going to learn a lot about that person and they're going to learn a lot about you. So um, be patient and have open communication. Um, but it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard, no matter what. You're doomed. Yeah. Just kidding. Not, not quite doomed, but uh, <laughs> the first thing we had to do was we were required to make a roommate agreement. And even if you're not required, I highly recommend it. Just because then you have a set of rules that are that's down there and it's like, please don't play music at one o'clock in the morning because I'm sleeping. Uh, then you have something to go back to be like, I told you this in September. It is now December. Why are you not taking the trash out? It's your turn or something like that. So that you have this, this basis for what to do. Um, and you're gonna fight with your roommate at some point, it's inevitable. You're gonna have a fight, but this will sort of contain it so that it's not enormous and you don't blow up. Yeah, I, you talk about roommate issues. Um, <laughs> I, I had roommate issues my first year. Uh, Molly mentioned open communication, that's, that is key. I want to make everybody aware that open communication doesn't always work. However, you can talk to your campus advisors and the living situation and actually I got my dorm room moved. Uh, not to get into too much detail, but my roommate was uh, did not listen, walked around with his robe open playing Guitar Hero 24-7, very embarrassing to bring anybody back to our dorm room. It was terrible. So I went from living in a double with this man and got into a forced triple because two of my friends from college allowed me to room in with them. So that brought in a, a whole slew of different issues. We went from having very much opposite rooms of here's my side, here's your side, to okay, now we're in a double and there's one bed over here, there's three desks shoved into a two bedroom room. Where's everybody's stuff go? How do we communicate and make sure everything's all right? Luckily, they're all very friendly and as I mentioned, they, they took me in. So. Open communication is key. We definitely butted heads with the two other guys I lived with later on, but uh, nowhere near open room. <laughs> so open communication, definitely key. And just to bring it to the next segment too, uh, on campus or off campus. Yeah. On campus, I believe is gonna be required for a lot of you for your freshman year. A lot of people are forced to, forced is a strong word, but are, strongly encouraged to <laughs> live in the campuses for their freshman year. You should. And yeah, yeah totally. that's, I think we can all, we just all agreed that yeah. living on campus your first year, especially if you don't know anybody. I didn't know yeah. my first roommate, obviously, when I moved in with him. It's a great chance to meet people. The guys I ended up living with, I was just in his wedding a few weeks ago. So you meet friends for life yeah. and it's, it's really important. Yeah, definitely, um, because, you know, the first two years of college I lived on campus. Um, actually, that's a lie. Okay, the first year I lived on campus, the last three I lived off, 
And um, when you live off campus, you don't feel as um, involved in, you know, like the college life, I guess. So, I mean, obviously you still are having fun and you, you go to class or whatever, but when you're on campus, you're always there. And so when you first enter college and you kind of have this image of what it's like, definitely live on campus because it's gonna, you know, meet your expectations. Um, and then, you know, as you get used to it and you get busier, you get older, then living off campus is better. Um, just so you have your own, you know, your own space and you can kind of like get away from all the craziness. Um, so definitely recommend living on campus. It's a really good experience, yeah. it's a good challenge. I lived on campus all four years and I, I really liked that. I mean, uh, in different aspects, like I had a roommate for three, two and a half years and then I was an RA for a year and a half and that was like a different side of the experience but I still had that community and I had friends that lived off campus so I had like all the benefits of living off campus. I could crash on their couch when I wanted to but um, I still got to like go home and I, I had the community that, that comes from living on campus and it's really good especially for your, for your first year uh, because you, I didn't went to a college that I didn't know anyone so it was really nice to like meet people and it was just a place to call home which was really cool in our dorm which was nice. Yeah, a lot of the dorms will have icebreakers too your first year. So you get to know the people that are in your dorm, not just your roommate, but everybody else that's in that area, which is extremely helpful. I didn't stay on campus after my first year. I, I did move into an apartment mm -hmm. and I, that was great. It's, it's a little strange when you're not on campus all the time experiencing every single event like you were freshman year. However, it's a little nice too, uh, where we ended up moving was right next to a bowling alley, so come on. <laughs> it's the best thing ever. Yeah. Um, I think another thing I'll add is just that um, uh, when you, you know when you leave college and you first you know are like independent away from your parents, being on campus, you still have a little bit of like restriction just because like your RAs and there are rules. Um, so I feel like it is kind of nice just because like it'll really help you like you know, hanker down and have some kind of um, discipline your first year, but then when you're off campus, you are on your own. Yeah. Nobody, you know, it's your apartment, do your thing, so... I, um, it's your security deposit. Right. right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so just, yeah, keep that in mind when you're deciding whether or not to live yeah. on campus or off campus. Also, a small thing to bring up there is parking on campus oh. versus off campus. So bad! There's like never parking on it's campus. Awful! So if you live off campus, your chances of having a parking spot dedicated to yourself are significantly higher and Depends you can Depends on where you live. If you live in like New York or Boston, right. you're yeah. never gonna get parking. <laughs> yeah, I live True. in Boston and I still can't get parking. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, that's a Oh, no, you be sick kids, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man, well, yeah. If, yeah. you, if you don't have to bring a car, don't bring your car. On-campus parking is tough. Yep. If you went to school in Vermont, bring your car. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you need a car in Vermont. <laughs> but if you don't need one otherwise, like in a city, um, I guess I didn't really need one in Towson, but I still had mine. But, oh man, I would have to get to class like 30, 45 minutes early just to get that spot. And I would chase you down. It looks like you were, <laughs> it looks like you were leaving. Oh. I'll say, hop in, I'll take you to your spot. <laughs> it's a doggy dog world. Yeah.